to like, you know, uh, from Belgium, uh, a, a part of the world where, you know, we haven't seen so many great players at all. But, you know, Stephen's right, you know, he has struggled since he won the China Championship for whatever reason. I mean, he turned up at the Masters last year with two Qs. And he went out there with two cues. <laughs> now, I, Steve was laughing. You, that's, 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 that's just ludicrous. Yeah, exactly. Ludicrous. It means you don't know what you're doing. It means you're confused. Um, hopefully, he's got that sorted out now. You know, that was a, clearly something that was going on in his head at the time. Why should he have two cues out there? Yeah, I, and just another word on Judd Trump. He is one of the players that doesn't seem to be intimidated by Ronnie. No, he's, he believes in himself. He's, he has tremendous uh, confidence in, in his belief to, to go for shots, to, to pop pauses. I love watching Judd Trump. He's, he, he plays shots that he's Cooper. He plays shots that no one else, even Ronnie, can play. Um, but again, you know, flaky is maybe too strong a word. But he's no, he's won nowhere near what he should have in the game. He should have won a world championship by now. Well, we're going to move on because it's time for another of Stephen's Q-tips. Tonight he's recreating one of his most memorable shots that set up one of his most iconic uh, breaks. So in this Q-tip, I'm going to recreate a shot that I played in the 1997 uh, Charity Challenge final against Ronnie O'Sullivan, um, the deciding frame. Uh, I was 8-2 up in this match, cruising to victory. Uh, and then Ronnie O'Sullivan reeled off six frames in a row, as Ronnie does, in, in what seemed no time at all. Um, the only good thing about that, normally when you're 8-2 up and it comes back to 8 each, the deciding frame, you've, you've gone. There's no way you're going to win that deciding frame because you're under so much pressure. But because I didn't really have many chances, Ronnie played so well, I actually felt quite good in the deciding frame. Um, so the frame started with two or three pretty decent safety shots each. And finally, I've got the first chance of a pot. Um, now, it's not an easy pot. You can see there's a couple of loose reds around if I miss it. The way Ronnie's been playing, it could probably cost me the match, but me being me, I'm always going to take it on. It's a chance to win the match. So we pot the red, we're nicely in the black, and I go on to make the first ever 147 in a deciding frame of a final and probably one of the greatest moments of my career. That was great. We like the Q-tips, don't we, Alan? What did you make of that one? Loved it. Uh, loved it. Loved the break back in the day. I remember it. Was it, was it in Birmingham, actually, just yeah. up the road? I think it was, yeah. wasn't it? Um, the charity challenge. And uh, I don't think I watched it live, but I heard the news. Stephen was 8-2 up. Made a maximum and I thought, oh, well, he's done everything else. So, you know, it was an amazing achievement to do it in a deciding frame. If only we had the footage. If only we had the yeah, footage. Yeah. Oh, we've got the footage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a brilliant shot. And actually, the, in reality, the cue ball was almost glued to the bolt cushion, I think, there, wasn't it? I know, I just want to make like, the, the you made, that a wee bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, not as good as the <laughs> I have to say, everybody loves looking back at the archive. We love when we delve into those. But, I mean, there's you recreating something that you did all those years ago. Yeah, it was, um, it was obviously a, a great idea to, to do these, these Q-tips and um, obviously try and recreate shots, famous shots, um, from, from my career. And that was obviously an iconic final frame decider. I suppose that's one of the, the most well-known shots. I have to say, the other shot is the one, is the respotted black, isn't it, against Mark Williams? I think you've rec recreated that one before, I have haven't done, you? So yeah. is, is that coming up this week? Um, I don't know. That one out? I don't know, but when, when I started doing these Q-tips, I asked for requests from the public, and that was yeah. a lot of people requested that. I don't know why. I mean, you know, I won the Masters six I'm times, sorry but I'm mention. more famous for that black. Yeah, well, it was a respotted <laughs> black last frame of the Masters against Mark Williams, and he, it was a difficult shot, actually, but, I mean, I'm sorry to sort of bring the down. He actually reminded me today. Because, you know, the he one... reminds me every time. But did he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He reminded me that he said the hairstyle yeah. was the same. <laughs> that reminded him. We've, uh, we've got loads more hot shots uh, coming your way as well, because, uh, not hot shots, I should say Q-tips, because you've... Uh, You've, we've been inundated with people asking to look at different different shots that you've enjoyed over the years. That's great. I look forward to doing them, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Like, hot shots, that's exactly what we're going to talk about now. Because, of course, when you're surrounded by champions like we are here in Coventry this week, we're spoiled for choice. However, we have managed to narrow it down today. No man in 
And for more hot shots, Q-tips and all sorts of exclusive content that you can check out, uh, you can go to our Twitter page at ITV Sport uh, and you can get involved in the conversation. You can tweet us some of your questions and the hashtag Snooker Social. You're all over that, aren't you, Neil? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> said, well, are you, uh, yeah, I am. I know. Well, uh, <laughs> listen, let's have a look at your hot shot. Yeah. This is this was uh, well. We were spoiled for a choice, but this was a good one. Look at the red. It, it's hard to see where he's going to pop the red because it doesn't go in any of the corner pockets, and he just creeps it in behind the green, and he goes on to make a century. Now he had to think a lot about this shot. Actually, it's just a century break. The frame's over, but it, it's hard to see where he can pop the red. He gets on it in the middle so, pocket. He's a wonderful shot maker. All right, Alan, let's take a look at yours. Yeah, I think it was more the situation. You know, deciding frame against Big Ryan. Uh, John Higgins earlier and he'd done nothing to suggest he was going to knock that in up to this stage of the match not only the pot and the fact he's probably going to leave something he's going to sell the, the jerseys as we say if, if he doesn't pot that he lands perfect from the black and he won the decider. It was a great Brilliant. shot. Uh, Stevens, let's look at yours. This was just a supreme bit of queuing we're going to see from Ronnie O'Sullivan. It just, with top spin, those shots, you have to cue them so well. You can see the action he got on the cue ball back up for the blue. Um, it, was, it was just a classic, classic strike. You can see the momentum on the cue ball after it hit the red. Perfect so, cue. So now you've had a chance to look at all three together. Well, who's going to decide which one's well, the best? I, which can, one do you go for? Can I just say that Neil's shot, I'm sure Ronnie was putting a full ball contact on the green for the red in the other middle, and there was a bit of luck involved in where he Massive landed. Massive amount of luck. Right, Massive. that's you written off. I just went to, you, you can deal with Ronnie about that. <laughs> you know, that I, think, I think he's played it in such a way he's coming in towards the red. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to say, do you think he played to hit the green? Full ball. Well, he didn't. And if he misses it, he's always going to have a pot somewhere. Where? Well, it was almost impossible. It doesn't, not it doesn't to go anywhere, does it? Let's be honest. I like the shot. <laughs> it's all about these long straight pots. See them all day long. <laughs> There's nothing shot. Devoid of imagination, the other two. Good shots, but it's yeah. everyday shots. What? Have we actually decided which was the hot shot of the day? Or will I just decide? You got it. You, no, do you think I he's think, getting it? No, I think that's... No, no I think I, Stephen's getting it with that lovely well, shot from know. Ronnie. Maybe. It was, a good, it was a good shot. They're all good. They're the all debate good. will go Thanks, on. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs>